you have not had a conversation with them yet. You haven't had a conversation with them yet. But they know. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. You haven't had a conversation with them yet, but they know there is trouble. This word is coming to somebody. Someone has been avoiding you. And this is actually after they did something wrong. And you're having in your mind, you're going to tell them we need to talk. You need to talk to them. But the thing is, this person knows you so well that they can decode from just your reaction and your behavior. They know you so well. And just from your reactions, from your maybe the way you are cold or the way you are reacting, for some reason, they just know you so well that they can perceive there is trouble. So you've not even spoken to them yet, but they know there is trouble. So they've been running away from that talk. I don't know what is it about it, but men, every time you tell a man, we need to talk. <laughs> In other words, you've told them, avoid me because 90% of men don't really want that. And they understand us so well. They know when a woman tells you we need to talk, it means I have things to tell you. It means most often that you, you messed up or you hurt me here. Or there is this thing that you did and I don't like and I want to talk about it. So they understand that. They already know that they messed up somewhere. They know there is trouble. They know something is not right. That's why they have been avoiding you. So why is this coming as a wisdom word? I wouldn't rather say prophetic word. More of a wisdom word for someone. Next time when you have something to say, don't say we need to talk. Just talk. Just look for a convenient opportunity. Just look for the right time and just talk. So just take them by surprise and just talk. But just make sure it's the right time and always, before you get to talk to someone, start by deciding the outcome. What do you want to make out of this talk? What do you want to get out of this talk? What do you want as the outcome of this talk? So decide the outcome is going to decide, is going to determine the strategy that you use to talk. And if that talk is meant at maintaining the relationship or sustaining or fixing the relationship, then certainly you should consider the right time. Not when you are still at least deal with your anger. Not when you are still angry. No, when you have already calmed down and you can talk to them respectfully, but still pass your, 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 your point across. So think the right time and the right way and pass your message across. That way you're going to have the right feedback because most often the mistake that we make is we want to say it the way we feel it and we want to cause them to feel what we are feeling. And when that is happening, we will pass across the message in a wrong way because the idea at that point in time is to cause them to feel the way we are feeling. To feel as hurt as we are feeling. So we pass across the message in a disrespectful way. And in a way that it destroys the relationship more than fixes or builds it. That's why it's necessary for you to know. What do you want to make out of this talk? What do you want to be the outcome of this talk? Know the outcome. Know what you're going for before you even engage in the talk in the first place so you don't lose your relationship the idea is to make it better and not to destroy it hallelujah i hope this word reaches the right person at the right time may the lord bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you 
and may he be gracious to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Shalom.